This video is about the complex analysis practice problems on de Morvais theorem. We will solve the questions on de Morvais theorem which came in my complex analysis exam. So let's get started. I have solved the questions already. I will explain you how I solved them and then you have to solve them by yourself. Take a copy and then solve them and then match your answers with this because you have taken the whole complex analysis course now. So now the question on de Morvais theorem, this came for 5 marks, like 5 marks question was this, to find all the values of this and then show their continued product is 1. So to solve this we will use the de Morvais theorem. So simply applying the de Morvais theorem, we will put this equal to r cos theta plus iota sin theta and we know r is under root of x square plus y square. So x square is 1 by 4 y square is 3 by 4 and taking LCM we get 4 by 4 and root 1 is 1. So we get R is 1. Now we have to find theta. So we know that cos theta is x upon R. Right. So now x is 1 by 2 and R is 1. So we get cos theta is equal to 1 by 2. And we get similarly sin theta is equal to root 3 by 2. And cos theta is 1 by 2 at pi by 3 and sin theta is 1 by 2 at pi by 3. So we get a theta as pi by 3. So now we'll put this equal to this and now we will take the thing which is given which is the power which is 3 by 4. So now this is equal to this. Now we know that in the application to find roots we have to add with this period and here k will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and from 0 to n minus 1. We get this thing. Now applying de Morvais theorem, this will go down. But before making it go down, we will just solve this to get this pi plus 6 k pi by 3 and pi plus 6 k pi by 3. In exam, I just took this down there and it made my calculation a little bit lengthier. So now we will take this down and this 3 cancels it and we are remain with this cos pi plus 6 k pi by 4 plus iota sine pi plus 6 k pi by 4. Now we will put k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. When k is equal to 0, r1, the first root is this which is cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 and sine pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 with the iota. Now when k is equal to 1, we get 6 pi plus pi which is 7 pi by 4 similarly in here. Now if you have good knowledge of trigonometry you will know that we can write this like this 4 to the 8, 8 minus pi is 7 pi by 4. Now we will have to find the values. This will be 1 by root 2 because it is in the fourth quadrant. For example this is pi 2 pi and 2 pi minus something this is in the fourth quadrant and cos is positive there so cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 with a positive sign but sign is negative there sign is not positive so we get this now when we put k equal to 2 we get 12 pi plus pi so 13 pi by 4 both in here we will change this 13 pi by 4 to this that is 4 to the 12 plus pi which is 13 pi by 4 now in here both will be negative because they are in the third quadrant. For example, in here it is pi, 2 pi, 3 pi and pi and 3 pi plus something which is in the fourth quadrant. Both are negative. So minus 1 upon root 2 plus iota minus 1 upon root 2. Now we will put k equal to 3. So 6 is 18 and 18 pi plus pi is 19 pi by 4. So we get this and we will change this similarly we get 5 pi minus pi by 4 and 5 pi minus pi by 4 which is 20 pi minus pi which is 19 pi so now in here we are in the second quadrant i guess pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 5 pi and 5 pi minus something which is in the second quadrant and here sign is positive and cos is negative so we get this now we have to show that this r1 r2 r3 r4 multiply give us one so now let's show that. So now we will multiply these all roots together. So we get this in here. This this in exam took me a little while to understand how I will solve this. It also took a little time to solve. So I saw this that this is a plus b. This is a plus b and this is a minus b. This is also a minus b and a plus b. So 
doing a plus b into a minus b we get a square minus b square but iota square is minus 1 so a square plus b square and similarly in here a square plus b square solving this we get 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4 is equal to 4 by 4 which is 1 so this was the solution of this 5 marks question remember to do this question by yourself because this is really important you will think that you know how to solve it but it is not the case when you will solve this yourself you will get things and you will learn new things also so now the second question of Moves theorem was also this there was also a question of finding right 1 raised to power 1 by 6 but this question I have solved in the Moves videos similar question like this so I don't want you to waste your time so now the next question was this to find the square root of this to find square root you will think we will have write the d moves theorem but you can't find the angles of 8 and 15 so we have a simple algorithm to solve this type of questions i knew that algorithm because i have seen a youtube video in which they applied this algorithm so we will just take a x plus i y square which is equal to minus 15 minus 8i and x plus i y will be the square root so we have to find this thing we need to find the value of x and y so applying a plus b whole square a square plus b square i to square is minus 1 plus 2xyi is equal to minus 15 minus 8i equating real and imaginary part we get this that is x square minus y square is equal to minus 15 and 2xy is equal to minus 8 so now we have x square minus y square is equal to minus 15 we need x square plus y square so that we can get the value of x and y how we will get, do that we'll do this we will take x square plus y square whole square this is a trick for getting x square plus y square from x square minus y square and 2xy so we will do this so then we will have x4 plus y4 plus 2x square y square we will add and subtract 2x square y square plus and we will add and subtract this term then this will give us x square minus y square and these will add up to get 4x square y square so now in here i have made a mistake yeah, if we take out this square we will get this as the root of x square minus y square whole square plus 4x square y square now we will put the value of x square minus y square which is minus 15 and minus 15 square is 225 plus now squaring this 4x square y square is equal to 64 so we got this and we got root 289 which is 17 which is plus minus 17 whatever value we will take we will get the same answer so let's take plus 17 now we have x square minus y square as minus 15 and x square plus y square as 17 so first adding and subtracting them to get values of x as plus minus 1 and y as plus minus 4 now if we put these values in the question for x plus i y we will get two values of x plus i y and that is the square root of minus 15 minus 8 i so this was the solution of this question so thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything